Now, so Romans chapter 8, starting in verse 1. He says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, now notice, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh. Why? Because the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. You got that? God, sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. What does he mean he condemned sin in the flesh? He proved that because Jesus came in the flesh, he proved that you could live in this physical body and not sin. Now, how did he do that? Well, one of the primary ways is because the Spirit of God dwelt in him. And if you have the Spirit of God dwell in you, you do not have to live after the flesh, and you do not have to sin. Do you get that? Verse 4, so that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. And notice, if you walk after the flesh, the righteousness of the law will not be fulfilled in you. But the first thing you have to realize is that you are not, we've got to get at the, this mindset that's, that tends to be in the church. Well, you know, I'm just struggling along. I'm just a sinner saved by grace. I'm just, you know, I, I'm, I'm really, I, I just, I'm no different than I was before, but, you know, I just know better now. That is not who you are. When you got born again, the spirit of the living God came to dwell in you. He recreated you. He made you a new creation. That it, he, Let me put it this way, as one translation says it. He made you into a new species of being that never existed before. That means better than Adam. He didn't just put you back into Adam's place. He made you better than Adam. Why? Because he recreated you after the likeness of Jesus Christ. So his spirit in you makes you a different type of creature. The problem is we haven't seen a lot of uh, examples of people living as this new creature. This is the, the thing that sticks with me the most. This is where I live most of my time is how do we live out this life and break from this normal life and actually live the life of Jesus? Because how did he live? He lived above circumstances. He didn't live in the middle of circumstances. He didn't live under the circumstances. He, he walked on top of the circumstances. Everything that came along, sickness, disease. And, you know, we look at him and go, well, he had power to heal the sick. Well, he also had to have power to resist sickness because he laid his hands on lepers that had very contagious disease that should have jumped on him. That's why the, the law said don't touch them. Don't let them even come into the city. Why? Because it was so contagious. And here, Jesus didn't just stand back and go, well, be healed. No, he came up and touched them. And we have to realize he, he had the Spirit of God in him that allowed him to repel sickness and disease. That was his life. He didn't have to go around all the time, well, I hope I don't get sick. I hope I don't get sick. How's that going to look if I'm a healing minister? If I get sick, how are the, the people going to receive me? See, we have to understand he made us new creations, that your spirit cannot be touched by sickness, disease, any of that kind of stuff in you. And the beauty of that is he has set you free from the law of sin and death to the point where even your physical body can learn to reject sickness or disease and to where it can't even get a hold of you. That's called living in, not just living in divine healing, but living in divine health. This is the life we were supposed to live in. This is why in the early days of the church, the, uh, you would see these people that would, like the uh, Moravians and different people like that, that when they heard about leper colonies, they would go there and live with them. Why? Because they had no fear of it. Now, I'll admit, they didn't have a clear understanding of healing. But they had an understanding of the life that was in Christ Jesus in them that they had to give their life, if necessary, for these people that nobody else would get around. 